Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my AFK money making guide. Um, all these methods will be AFK and during all these methods I will actually be working on a second account to uh, make money at the same time. Uh, I'm doing these methods for myself just as much as you guys because I want to know what the best uh, AFK money making method is so I can start making some more money on this account. I hope you guys enjoy the video and hopefully you guys learn you know, one or two new methods. Hey guys, what's going on? The first way that I'm going to be uh, trying to make money is uh, grinding unicorns into unicorn dust. There's no requirements. You don't get any EXP for doing it, but uh, yeah, no requirements. You literally just click on the pesto mortar, click on the unicorn horn, and then it just goes through them all. It's completely AFK, and uh, you make about, I think, around 200 GP profit. I'll go into it more uh, after I start getting into it, but let's start the timer. We're going to go ahead and go for one hour, and I'll be back with you guys when I get there. Alright guys, the one hour is up, so uh, let's stop making these and let's go see how much money we made. Hey guys, what's going on? So as you can see here, in one hour I managed to make 1,717 unicorn horns into unicorn dust. Now remember this is all while I'm playing on another account, so you might be able to get more if you uh, actively play on that account for the full hour. Um, and I bought them all for 618 GP each, so let's do 1717 times... 618 and it comes out to be 1 mil and 60k. Let's go see how much money we ended up profiting. Alright guys, the uh, unicorn horns ended up selling. We got a total of 1,356,000 coins. So it's basically 300k uh, in one hour, which is not bad profit at all because that was just super AFK and it literally takes you bank and do two clicks and then you just sit there and it's it's very, very AFK able, and I think 300k in an hour is not bad at all, especially since I got a lot of progress on my other account in the same time. Alright, I'll see you guys with the next money making method. Hey guys, as I'm sure you can guess by uh, looking at the screen, the next money making method is going to be making cannonballs. The requirements for this is the dwarf cannon quest and 35 smithing. So all you gotta do is use the steel bar on the furnace and make all, and it's super slow, you can AFK for over 2 minutes per envy. Uh, let's see, I started out with four, basically 408k smithing XP, so let's see uh, what we end up at. Let's go ahead and start this timer, and I'll be back with you guys in an hour. Alright guys, we just hit 1 hour, so uh, let's stop, and let's stop making these, and let's go see how much money we made. Hey guys, what's going on? So in total we got 2,152 cannonballs made, which ends up being 538 uh, steel bars used. I got them for 572 each, so we times that by 572. So we used a total of 307k in uh, supplies, so uh, let's sell these. Alright guys, so the cannonballs sold, we got a total of 514k, so that means in one hour we got a total of 207k profit, which isn't so bad. The good thing about cannonballs compared to uh, all the other methods I have is that you can AFK for a whole two and a half, two, I think it's two and a half minutes, it's over two minutes. So you can just sit there, click on it, and do completely something else for two minutes, which is a long time, and then banking and starting again takes no time at all. So this method literally requires zero attention whatsoever. So 200k in an hour, not too bad. All right guys, so the third money making method in this AFK money making video is going to be making uh, teleport tabs. I'm gonna be making Barok teleport tabs because I'm a construction noob and I can't make a better lectern. Uh, the lowest level construction you can have is 47 and then that's the lowest level one to make one in your own house. But if you go to world 330, you don't need any level construction, you can use somebody else's lectern. So if you don't have 47 construction, do that. Uh, if you do, I feel like it's a little bit faster just to you know teleport to your own house and do it that way so uh and to make the varac teleport tabs you obviously need to have 25 yeah 25 magic so all you gotta do teleport to your house wait for the uh annoyingly long loading screen uh my lectern's right here so i just gotta click study lectern and then you click here and you hit make all so uh let's go ahead and start the timer oh Nope, stop, watch, start. All right, so I'll see you guys in an hour. All right, guys, as you can see here, I made 919 Varrock tabs in pretty much exactly one hour. So I'll be back to you guys at the GE where I will calculate how much it costs to uh, make all these and how much profit we made. Hey guys, what's going on? So the final expense from making 919 Varrock teleport tabs was 403k. Uh, if you guys want to check my math, I'll uh, leave that up there for you to look at what everything costed individually. Uh, before I get into the final uh, price check, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, the best teleport tab to make right now is actually the house teleport tab. I didn't have a high enough level lectern because my construction is too low, so that's why I made the Varrock teleport tabs. 
Um, also, the uh, best way to do it isn't to do what I did, which was I ran to the bank. I, I used my uh, teleport to Varrock, and then I ran to the bank, and then I used a house tab to teleport back. That's why this, that's what this tele tab is. This is the house tabs that I had to use. The best way to actually do it is to use your butler or demon butler to uh, run to the bank for you and bring them back or whatever. Uh, I just think that this way is a little bit more AFK because you don't have to focus on clicking the butler and the all the thing the lectern and all that you know you just go lectern click on it let your tough expire go to the bank go back you know repeat so i think this is the most uh afk way to do it and since this is an afk money making guide that's the way i did it so let's get into how much money we made all right guys so i sold all the tabs for 565 uh k a total of 615 gp each so we ended up making a profit of about 160 yeah 162k which isn't too bad so uh, uh also i wanted to add in that i got a total of 32,000 magic experience during this whole process which is really good you know for making money while doing it you know i'll take it 160k profit plus 32,000 magic experience is really good for me so i will see you guys with the next method Hey guys, what is going on? So the next money making method is going to be charging air orbs. For this method, you need to have 66 magic. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's not too hard to get, but it's definitely the highest requirement out of uh, any of these methods in this video. But uh, you know, you can get 66 magic in a couple of hours if you really try. And uh, the good thing about air orbs is that it is decent magic experience per hour and is profit. Now, uh, this is what your inventory should look like. Uh, I'm bringing a teleport to house, and then I'm going to use the glory in my house to go to Edgeville. If you do this, it's probably better to bring an actual amulet of glory, and then uh, just uh, have an extra air orb in the slot, and then bring 81 cosmic runes, because it's uh, 81 for 27. It's three for each air orb. But uh, So all you got to do is I'll just show you the route to run. So once you get your inventory set up, you just run down here. And by the way, the reason I'm bringing a teletab is because I have 10 HP, and uh, if anybody attacks me, if I somehow manage to live, I don't know if I'll have time to uh, click on my necklace and tele. So as soon as I see any PKers or anything like that, I'm going to be telling it out. So it might decrease my profit for hour, but that's all right because that'll just show you guys what the lowest is, and then you guys will be able to hopefully be able to make more than what I'm making. So you guys can see here the uh, route I'm running so far. Uh, you just got to come here, and it is in the wildy, which is kind of risky. This guy's level 74. He can't attack me anyways. That's fine. I don't even know. He's not even wearing gear to attack anybody. I ha I have done this before. Um, to well to train magic AFK, and uh, I actually got killed by the thugs once with because I didn't pray melee, and now I'm not doing that again. And I've got killed by these fucking. There's black demons up here, and those have killed me, man, so many times. It's just and this is really risky because if anybody around my level is here, I mean, if I saw somebody running through here and I was actually could attack people, I would probably do it. But all you gotta do is tell you all the way here. Cast Charge Air Orb on the Obelisk of Air, and then go to Make All, and then just AFK. That guy has a skull. Is he going to attack me? Oh, no, he's a little 86. We're good. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and start the timer, and I will see you guys in an hour. All right, guys, we are coming up on an hour, and we did just whoops, we did just finish our uh, last inventory, so we, there's not really enough time to do another one. So I figured I'd stop here, and I'll be back with you guys with the total loot and how much the expenses were. Hey guys, what's going on? So as you can see, we made a total of 427 unpowered or no powered orbs, air orbs, uh, in the hour. Um, as you can see here, the unpowered orbs cost 34 coins each, and the cosmic runes cost 177 GP each. So that's where I got the uh, numbers for this. So the total cost was 253k, which, you know, not too bad. And the uh, total experience gained was 32k, which isn't, I mean, that's pretty good EXP an hour. Both this and the uh, tele tabs actually surprised me. I might start doing those for magic, because 10 HP, it's hard to find... Uh, ways to train magic, especially ways that make profit. So I might do some of these for magic sometime, for sure. Uh, I'll get back to you guys, though, and see how much these air orbs sell for and see how much profit we actually made in an hour. Hey guys, what's going on? So as you can see, we made a total of 591k, which actually makes the profit per hour almost 340k? Yeah, 338k, so... That's that's actually really really good for making 32 magic uh, or 32,000 magic experience an hour, and it's really AFK. Now for me, it's a little risky to do, but if you're not 10 HP, this is a really great method, and I would definitely definitely recommend it. 
So uh, yeah, I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Hey guys, what's going on? So that concludes my uh, money making guide video. Just to recap over all the methods and uh, their strengths and weaknesses. So the unicorn horns, it made 300k an hour and uh, all you had to do was click twice. Bank, it was the easiest method by far to do. And it made pretty good money. That was actually probably my favorite method out of all four to do. Just because it makes decent money. It's super, super AFK, and it's just so easy. You bank, do two clicks, bank, do two more clicks, and it's just, you have to look at your screen for like five seconds, and you can do the method. Uh, the second method was to make cannonballs. That ended up being 200 and about 210k uh, cash per hour, and uh, EXP per hour, about 35k EXP per hour in smithing, which, you know, isn't too bad. And this one's benefit was, like, once you uh, start making the bars, you have, like, I think it's like two and a half minutes of just straight AFK time. So that's enough time to, uh, you know, do a Zolra kill, to, uh, you know, go train whatever skill you're training, do some Slayer, and then just go real quick, do like a 10 second bank trip, and have another like three minutes to yourself. So that one is super, super AFK, the longest time you have to go with like out touching the screen at all. And uh, that was a pretty, pretty good method. Uh, the next method was Teletabs. Uh, I made about 160k in an hour but I think that uh, if you do house teleport tabs and if you use a demon butler you can make about 225k uh, cash per hour sorry if I'm saying exp per hour after some of these uh, cash per hour um, so that means that uh, exp per hour you get about 32k uh, if you do house teleport tabs expect about 35k uh, magic experience per hour which is you know pretty pretty decent that's not bad at all um, and the good thing about the tele tabs is that you just, it's really, really extremely good magic experience. And for making money, you know, there's not many ways to make money while getting such good magic experience. Uh, the air orbs, which was the uh, final method we did, we made 340k in uh, one hour, which is the most profit per hour for all these methods AFK. The strong thing about the air orbs was you get 32k magic experience per hour, which is very, very good. And you also get um, to just AFK for a long time. It's about a minute and a half of AFK, so not as long as Cannonballs, but it's still super, super AFK. Like, there's a long period of time where you're AFK. A minute and a half might sound short now, but actual in-game time, it's pretty long. The only downside is that it is in the wildy. Uh, when I went to a skill total world, I didn't see an entire PK the whole, the whole time I was there. So I recommend going to a 1250, you know, 1500, whatever skill total you are. I recommend going to that kind of world. So yeah, that recaps my uh, the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you uh, learned some, something new, and I hope you go out and use these methods and make some good money. Thank you for watching.